all everybody it was a while since I did any sort of product reviews and uh, partially because there was not really anything interesting going on in the market and partially because I was busy but um, this week we got a brand new radiators from EK and it's actually kind of brought my interest a little bit higher than usual level and also this is a replacing for the XT series which was a really long running series of radiators that I don't even know probably four years old by now and new version is a CSQ design so it's replacing the old generation which is was it CSQ and also a couple other changes that I would like to show you so let's um, do quick unboxing so we have inside the white box and uh, the first thing that you will notice when you will get the radiator is that the changing the screws type that coming with rad first uh, generation XT, XTC, XTX they all came with M3 screws now it's 632 uh, and probably as a reason for that I guessing that uh, different manufacturer making them and another change that you find very quickly is that those radiators is a double um, the high density doubled fins so you see two rows of fins together and um, if you look really careful you can see that uh, screws misaligned with um, flat pipes so basically if you put screw on then um, you will damage fins not the pipe itself so it's a little bit easier in terms of talking people who putting too long screws trying to measure damage radiator the shroud itself uh, pretty nice i would say i like it a little bit more than ax series from xspc it done a little bit more elegant in a way i would say um, not as rough and um, other side right here so we have those uh, adapters with plastic plugs so you can attach fittings to radiator body without scratching anything uh, dummy plugs as you can see hopefully nobody will, will use them as a real stop plugs so they, they're supposed to be thrown away so i just mentioned just in case and um, we have the some insignia going on and of course of course we have this ek badge thing which i personally don't really like but um, it's coming with every single product that ek making on radiator actually it looks not that bad i don't really like it on cpus but uh, on the big items it's actually okay so that's what's the new stuff coming out uh, of course you will pay a little bit more money because the shroud costs more money so this is the reason i think that um, it's not always um, the best way to offer radiators only in shrouded configuration because you make customers pay extra 10 bucks or whatever it is uh, while somebody maybe don't care about the box outside of rad and don't want to pay that money but there's no choice p series all shrouded but at least the shroud work is really nice you can see the paint is uh, quite accurate nice matte and um, not much defects as i can see and everything is black and shiny when it should be and uh, looks pretty good so that's one i probably would consider to use in my build except the situation when i want a silent build and with low speed fans you will need a really good fans coming through this dense mesh so any cheaper slow speed fans probably wouldn't be work very well with this radiator but uh, high speed fans or fans with a good pressure characteristics will be working pretty good and cool pretty good all right that's all i have for this model hopefully you enjoyed this little unboxing i also planning to make um, a little bit more talk about admiral soon so stay tuned and see you in a couple days